mind. Welcome to your forehead and eye lifting routine. Now with a combination of strengthening, exercises, massage and acupressure, we're going to work on firming, lifting and sculpting through the entire upper face. Now, as you know, I absolutely love facial exercises. It's my main passion, but I'd also love to hear from you what other routines you'd like to see and also what other types of videos you would like to see on this channel. I love dry brushing for the face. That's another thing I picked up from my grandma. I love gua sha and I also use a jade roller. So any of those that you're interested in, just let me know. And without further ado, we're going to get started, but don't forget to add your moisturizer or your facial oil. Today, I'm using an Aussie brand of Jojoba oil. I like to use Jojoba or rosehip oil. So whatever your preference, make sure that you add it to your neck and to your face, and let's get started. We're going to start with our eye lifting massage. So start by placing the ring fingers directly under the beginning of your brows. Trace along the perimeter of the brows, down past the corners of the eyes, along the orbital bone, to the inside corner of the eyes and back to the start. Keep repeating this with a light to medium pressure so that you feel the relaxing benefits, but also it needs to be soft enough that you're not dragging or putting excess pressure on the skin. This massage improves blood circulation to the surrounding tissues. This increased blood flow brings more oxygen and nutrients to the area, which not only nourishes and rejuvenates the skin, but also improves the appearance of under eye bags and circles. It also increases collagen production and promotes skin elasticity. to our eyebrow acupressure. So you're going to bring the index fingers together and rest them in the center of your hairline. Press your thumbs firmly into the area directly under the beginning of the eyebrows. Press in nice and firmly with those thumbs into this area. This acupressure point is known as the urinary bladder two point or Zanzu. And the multitude of benefits include headache relief, alleviating sinus congestion, relieving stress and anxiety, and also improving the 11 line wrinkles by releasing tension. We're now moving on to our forehead lift. So place your entire hand over the forehead and apply a firm pressure. Press your eyebrows up into your hand as much as possible, creating resistance to strengthen and tone the forehead area. Having your hand in this placement not only provides that extra resistance and strength work for the muscles, but it also smooths out any skin wrinkling as you perform the exercise. This means that even when your forehead muscles are active and dynamically moving day to day, they'll be trained to not create as many wrinkles. We're going to repeat that once more. So again, place your entire hand over the forehead and apply that firm pressure. Press your eyebrows up into your hand as much as possible, really creating that resistance to strengthen and tone the entire forehead area. The muscle we're focusing on here is the frontalis muscle. Strengthening this muscle significantly delays or even prevents the appearance of forehead wrinkles, as this improves muscle tone and skin elasticity. We're now moving on to our eyelid lift. This time place the opposite hand on your forehead to avoid fatigue in the arms. Press your eyebrows up into your hand as much as possible once again However, this time you're going to close your eyes down and think about pulling the eyelashes down as far away as you can from your hand. You want to create that muscle engagement across the eyelids, but really focusing on creating as much length as between the eyebrows and the eyelashes as possible. I'll count you down from three so you don't have to check on the time and you can keep your eyes shut. two, and one, we're going to repeat that once more. Once again, place the hand on your forehead and press your eyebrows up into your hand as much as possible and close your eyes. Think about creating that distance between the eyebrows and the eyelashes, feeling that muscular engagement. This exercise focuses on the orbicularis oculi muscles. 
It improves muscle tone in this area and will give the entire eye area an overall lifted and refreshed appearance. Three, two, and one. Now be performing our eye wrinkle eraser. So create a V-shape with your middle and index fingers and place each V on the outer corners of the eyes. Without moving your forehead muscles, squint the eyes and feel the muscles surrounding the eyes engaging and working against the resistance of the fingers as you press into the corners of the eyes. Keep squeezing and then releasing. The placement of the fingers once again provides resistance, but also prevents the skin from wrinkling whilst we strengthen the muscles, creating more stability even when the muscles are dynamically moving. We're going to do that once again. So create the V-shape with your middle and index fingers and place the Vs on the outer corners of the eyes. Now once again without moving the forehead, squint the eyes and feel the muscles engaging and working. Keep squeezing and releasing. This once again targets the orbicularis oculi muscles, helping to smooth and tone the entire eye area and eliminate fine lines and deeper wrinkles alike. Now for our under eye lift. So use your index fingers to lift the sides of the face. Place your ring fingers over the nasolabial folds and open the mouth into an O, wrapping the lips over the teeth and then smiling as best as you can in that position. Feeling a strong engagement in the cheeks and the area underneath the eye. Press your ring fingers down firmly for resistance and to keep the nasolabial lines nice and smooth. We're going to do that once more. So use the index fingers and really lightly lift the sides of the face. Place your ring fingers over those nasolabial folds and open the mouth into that O, wrapping the lips over the teeth and then smiling. Once again, we're targeting those orbicularis oculi muscles under the eyes and the zygomaticus major and minor in the cheeks. So we're not only toning and lifting the under eyes, but we're also improving the overall structure of the facial muscles. relax. Now for our eye acupressure. So use your opposite hand to lift the outer corner of one eye and with the middle finger of your other hand press firmly into the area just outside the edge of the orbital bone. You'd feel a dull, achy, releasing sensation in those muscles. Because the orbicularis oculi muscle surrounds the entire eye area, pressing into this area helps to significantly reduce the tension in this muscle. So this helps to smooth out the entire area. Now when I release this, you'll be able to see my right eye will look more open and lifted than my left. So let's even that out and repeat it on the other side. So use your opposite hand, lift the outer corner of the eye, and with that middle finger of your other hand, press firmly into that area, just outside the edge of the orbital bone. The acupressure point we're targeting here is gallbladder one. It's believed to brighten the eyes, treat headaches, reduce redness and eye pain, so it's a great one to do after a long day in front of a screen. And then when I release this side, you'll be able to see that both eyes appear much more open and lifted now. Now moving on to our eyebrow release. So with the knuckles of your middle and index fingers, start at the inner edges of the eyebrows. Now trace along the edges of the brows. Right out until you reach the temples and then keep repeating. This stimulates blood circulation, which could potentially promote eyebrow growth and healthier skin. It can also alleviate eye strain, reduce headaches, provide stress relief, and also release all the tension in those muscles so we have a nice, smooth area through the forehead and between the eyebrows. And that brings us to the end of our session. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I cannot wait to see you at our next session.